Cheech is a 5 star cryo sword user with amazing healing ability alongside decent DPS. Her kit allows for increased survivability for the whole team and bridges the gap between support and DPS. She inherently plays a hybrid role rather than a specialized one. With her high base of healing, she's easy to build with low investment and is very flexible, able to fit in a large variety of teams. However, Chi Chi's damage isn't as high as other notable DPS units as she is a hybrid unit. Her skill and burst cooldown is very long and very poor energy management can create some healing downtimes. In addition, purely healing is not currently highly valued in Genshin Impact, and there are other support units that provide better utility than she does. Chi Chi's normal attack talent is called Ancient Sword Art. Her normal attack string is a 5 hit combo, and her charge attack hits twice. Chi Chi's elemental skill is Adeptus Art, Herald of Frost. When pressed, she will summon an orb that will heal herself in orbit around the player, dealing cryo damage and healing the active character. During this time, her healing can be triggered for all party members if she hits enemies with her normal and charged attacks. Gigi's elemental burst is Adeptus Art, Preserver of Fortune. This deals an instance of cryo damage and applies a talisman on all opponents hit. This talisman will heal the active party member when they deal damage to the marked opponent. This talisman can also be applied by her normal or charge attacks for a decreased duration. Now that you know what she does, how do you play her? Chi Chi's best role is as an on-field DPS and healer. Even when built as a DPS, she can heal the whole party while being on-field. In addition, her high base defense allow her to stay alive to support the team longer. Since Chi Chi's healing is already pretty good without talent investments, she benefits most from leveling up her normal attack talents first. Her skill and burst are equally important and are worth leveling next. Chi Chi's best weapon for this playstyle is the Akila Favonia, with the Primordial Jade Cutter following close behind. Her best 4 star option is the Black Sword and her best free to play option is the Prototype Rancor for its high base attack and physical attack bonus. Chi Chi's best artifacts are the 4 piece Pale Flame set or a combination of a 2 piece Pale Flame and 2 piece Bloodstained Chivalry sets. Alternatively, Chi Chi can use the 4 piece Gladiator's Finale set as a sword DPS or the 4 piece Blizzard Strayer set if she plays a Permafreeze team. If you want to opt for more team utility, Chi Chi's skill is fast enough to effectively use the 4 piece Tenacity of the Middleist set. Her main stat should be Attack Percents for the Sands, Physical Damage for the Goblet, and Crit Circlet. As for substats, she prefers Crit and Attack Percent. When it comes to her team composition, Chi Chi works well in any team lacking a healer or an on field DPS. An example comp is Chi Chi. Xingqiu, Fischl, and Beidou. Chi Chi acts as a healer, on-field DPS, and triggers Beidou's discharges and Xingqiu's rain swords. Xingqiu provides off-field damage. Fischl and Beidou's both provide off-field damage and trigger superconduct for Chi Chi to deal more physical damage. One of the biggest misconceptions players have about Chi Chi is that she is solely an excellent healer. However, her healing capabilities are great without too much investment allowing her to invest in damage and buffs to serve as a bridge between support and DPS. Thank you for watching this quick guide. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. If you'd like to see more quick guides and other informative content in the future, subscribe to the channel.